YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at fodder investments. What should you be doing with it? Buying it, holding it, selling it. We are also going to be looking at what you need to have all of your coins invested in this weekend and expected content this week in FC24. But before we get into all that, we got to talk about content today on Monday. If you want to have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Monday was pretty solid. We got, oh, audio on the controller again. We got two player SPCs today and UEFA marquee matchups, upgrade SPCs. There was actually quite a bit of content. Starting off with the first player SPC, this one's really solid. Baka, she is just below 170,000 coins, 88 overall card, but this is a road to the knockout. And I don't follow the woman's game too much, so I didn't really know what was going on here, but. I don't even think i don't know what the uwsl is that like that might be like the women's champions league it hasn't started yet so if we look at her card the additional information explains it and i'm pretty sure leon for like the female team i'm pretty sure they're really good so they should go through i'm guessing i don't know qualifying for the knockout i don't know how it works but she can get a plus three so she can go from an 88 to a 91 overall card I've used her card in game. She's pretty decent. This one's going to be even better, obviously, and it can go to a 91 and it's below 170,000 coins. So really solid SBC. A lot of people are doing her. We saw left backs go down in price today, and we also saw some links to Vaca go up in price. Cascarino was crazy. If you were watching Cascarino today, her triple threat card, I'll pull her up. I don't know if it's going to show it exactly how high it went, but she was about 340. I said, hey, this card's probably gonna fly. Oh my God. Um, Wow. She was 340 at content drop and I said this card's probably gonna fly because of the Baka SBC and I wonder if it'll show it. She went all the way up to like 590, 600K, but then she dropped down, was settling around like 520, 510 and then dipped back down a little bit, but she has settled, as you can see, at around 480, 490, somewhere around 500K. Re that Cascarino card's really rare. Like, if you look at her, there's like three pages. I'll pull, we'll pull her up maybe later. But she's very rare, is basically what I'm saying. And she's up a lot because of that SBC. GG, if you had any Cascarinos. Uh, continuing on through content, we... I'm working on this Tiago Silva, by the way. Can't do him yet because if I complete him, he goes behind over 1,084 overall cards in my unassigned list. Kind of annoying. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Boom. There it is. 77 plus triple upgrade. Um, it's better than what they released previously. It's oh, I didn't even notice that it's only nine golds as well. So this is better than the Centurion upgrade because the Centurion is just three gold rares. This is three gold rares that are 77 and it's only nine gold. So I'd say that's solid from EA. Uh, the ones they were releasing previously were just stupid. And now 84 plus upgrade, 84 plus triple upgrade. This is kind of annoying it's an 84 plus triple upgrade it's an 83 squad that's exactly what we were looking for an 83 squad or an 84 overall squad this is an 83 great but what do they do they went three ratings higher and said hey you need 186 you can't see it my camera blocks it but you need 186 minimum to complete this sbc so 86s did pretty decent today they last night i believe i said hey they're 11 5 try to pick them up for like 11k and they went up to 13k i think they were chilling around like 13 5. uh this sucks though because that makes 83s almost useless because if you do sbc rating combination and we look at an 83 squad the cheapest way to do it is is really just 83s but this has an 86 in it so if we go and look at with an 86 it has three 83s 682s in 181 instead of just using 1083s in 178 or 983s in 282s so that sucks really unfortunate and 83s have not moved they're chilling they were like 1400 coins and they're still pretty much 1400 coins pretty much for yeah 1400 coins so they haven't moved that sucks for 83s and 84s have also not moved they're actually down in price 84s before content drop today were i believe 
3,800, 3,900 coins. We check them out now. They are 3,004, 3,005, 36. Have they gone up a little bit? Could just be Fabinho. They're about 3,5. So really shitty there. Um, but Tuesday is the day. We all know we were waiting for Tuesday. Tuesday's the day when we'll see if our fodder is going to be doing really good this week or if I'm selling for break even or a loss. So that's the 84 triple upgrade. And then continuing, we have one more player SBC. We also have another, a lot of content today. UA for marquee matchups. It's the women's UA for marquee matchups. I don't know if many people knew this was coming, but this, this brought supply. This brought supply today, made some stuff come down in price. It made some of our cards come down. Like I said, fodder, bids, trading was decent. So some of these cards went up in price. I know... La Liga center attacking mids were doing really solid. I think I'm assuming Barca players went up. I know Chelsea players went up. I didn't check Real Madrid cards, but this was decent to trade with. Pretty decent. Uh, we traded with that on bids. I'll get into that in a little bit. Aaron Cuthbert is the other card. Chelsea center midfielder. These dynamic images are kind of cool. I like the holding the ball thing. Yeah. Um, decent looking card. She's about 30,000 coins, and I believe Chelsea links, I think her name is Kirby, went up a good amount because of this. I think Kirby was like 18K, and yeah, wow. She was chilling at 18K, let's go, yesterday. Yeah, down at 18K, and dang, that is a big jump. So that was content. Wow, a lot of stuff. Um, market update. I didn't realize content was actually that much. Market update. So how do I think the market is going to be moving this week? If you guys have your team, whatever it is, it's probably just going to be flat all the way Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, fairly flat. I don't expect too much to be rising. And then it's also going to depend on what the next promo is. We're going to be getting leaks for the next promo. It's FC Pro something. Sheriff talked about it, but we don't really know what it is. We've never had it. It's based on like esports like the professional fc 24 players so i don't know how that's going to work but we'll see what the leaks how the leaks affect the market but if you do have a team i'd say i'm just keeping my team i'm going to keep using it until rivals i'll qualify for foot champs and then uh make sure your team is sold before friday friday before friday content drop i should say because when friday content drops market usually goes down so that's my market take i don't really have too many flips but if you do have flips it's probably going to be flat. It's basically that. Uh, let's talk about fodder. This is what I do now. Let's get into what we do now. Fodder. Fodder. Guys, I mentioned this in the previous video. Whenever there is supply, whenever there's kind of panic for maybe an SPC doesn't come out. So people panic list a bunch of their fodder or maybe an SPC does come out and a bunch of people are just listing their cards. A lot of fodder was listed today because of the 84 triple. A lot of fodder was on the market today because of the UEFA marquee matchup. So there was supply. What did we do? We hopped on bids. I let the stream do this. I posted this filter in my VIP trading discord. I didn't want to hop on it because I didn't want to spoil it too much. If I do something on stream and I'm in front of 500, 600 people, it they all go to do it and it sucks. But this filter was really solid. 84s were going for 1,200 coins, 1,300 coins, 1,400 coins. It was really easy. So it was really solid to trade today because of the 84 triple UEFA marquee matchups. But enough about what we were doing with fodder today. How did it move? 84 triple. It's not what we wanted. But tomorrow on Tuesday is the day. Tomorrow on Tuesday is the day. So I'm hoping tomorrow on Tuesday, that's we're, we should get another SBC. 100%, we should be getting another SBC tomorrow on Tuesday. That's always been the day that we've been getting the 84 double, 85 plus upgrade, 84 plus road to the knockout upgrade. That's what we had last week. Last week was 84 plus road to the knockout upgrade on Tuesday. It was an 84 overall squad and it required a team of the week. That made team of the weeks go up a lot. That made 84s go up a lot. So that is what we were hoping for. Something tomorrow on Tuesday. I would say maybe it's not the 84 plus road to the knockout this time. Maybe it's the 84 plus road to the knockout or trailblazer because we do have the road to the knockout or trailblazer pack in the code. So maybe we get that one this week and also 86 plus upgrade in the code. So that could also be tomorrow. I hope that's tomorrow on Tuesday. That'd be great. 86 plus upgrade tomorrow on Tuesday, 83 overall squad. 84 plus road to the knockout trailblazer upgrade 84 overall squad something like that would be great please ea i am begging you now 
What are we doing with our fodder? So, I am going to be selling my fodder no matter what this week personally. That's what I'm doing. So, 84s is what I have. 83s, if, if you want, 83s and 84s, we're in the same boat. 85s, you have the hero SBC refreshing on Friday or whatever it is. So, you don't need to worry too much about 85s. You could probably just hold those. But, 84s, 83s, this is what I'm speaking on specifically, are going to depend on what comes out tomorrow. If we get a good SBC, they rise, I'm selling them. Great. I'm making profit. If we don't get a good SBC, I'm probably going to have to sell for either tiny profit, break even, or a loss. And no matter what, I'll be selling because I plan on, I would, if we don't get any good SBC tomorrow on Tuesday, the fire is going to drop and then it'll be even lower on the weekend. And I will let you guys know this weekend, you should be all in on fodder. And I'm thinking, if I sell all my 84s, I might take the time this weekend to go all in on 83s. Guys, this weekend is the last weekend before Black Friday. It's going to be one of your last times to go all in on fodder. For those of you that don't know, Black Friday fodder goes up a lot. I'm not going to go through all the prices again but basically 83s went last year from like 900 coins to over 2000 coins 84s i think were like 25 they went over 5k i have a tweet if you want to go check it out it's my last one i retweeted it it's right here uh it goes over all of the fodder prices last year on fifa 23 before black friday the weekend before black friday and then black friday how much they went to after that so if you want to check this tweet out it goes through all of them pretty much all fodder does good with black friday pretty much all of it so no matter what you buy you should be making good coins holding your fodder into black friday so pretty much no matter what like i said selling my fodder if i'm making profit i'm losing tuesday i'll be selling and if we do get a good SBC, I'll also be selling on Wednesday. But if we get nothing tomorrow on Tuesday, I'm selling all 1,000 plus 84s. I think I have like 1,200 84s. All of them will be sold tomorrow on Tuesday if we get nothing. I could maybe wait till Wednesday and see if we get an SBC on Wednesday, but we usually don't. Doesn't happen. So that's my take on fodder. Now, should you maybe be buying more fodder? Do you want to gamble and buy more fodder? Investment wise right now, if you want to invest in anything, you, you pretty much have two options. You can wait till this weekend to full send or you take a gamble and hope we get a good SPC tomorrow. That's repeatable. That makes the 83s and 84s rise. So your options, 83s, 1300, 1200 coins is what you'd be paying. 84s, you're going to be paying like 3.3, I'd say max. And those are the two ratings I'd be watching. The other one is team of the weeks. If we get an SBC tomorrow with a team of the week requirement, they should do really good. But you should understand team of the weeks. If we don't get a requirement, they're not going to do good. They're going to drop. But also, I'm getting a little scared because these team of the weeks have been holding their value quite a bit. I'm getting a little worried that we may be approaching a potential tradable team of the week SBC. And Wednesday is not a bad day for them to do something like that. So if you do buy the team of the weeks tomorrow, Tuesday, no matter what you'd be selling them that day, that's probably gonna be one. You... I, I would not hold team of the weeks into Wednesday is basically what I'm saying. I wouldn't wanna risk it. But if we get a team of the week requirement tomorrow, I wouldn't be surprised if these guys go extinct at like 30K. They're just really hard to pack and there's not much supply right now. So that is your two options. You have buy the fodder hope we get something tomorrow on tuesday if we don't you're going to be taking probably a tax loss maybe break even and then this weekend is the full send those are your two options take this gamble or you don't have to and then this weekend you should be all in on fodder i'm probably i'd have to buy over 4083s but i think i'm going to sit down all weekend friday saturday sunday i'll just keep buying fodder keep buying fodder keep buying fodder and you might be like how are you gonna hold four thousand cards you need to do the unassigned glitch i have over a thousand cards right now in my unassigned list to do the unassigned glitch just go to my twitch live stream type exclamation point unassigned it explains how to do it i do not claim my objectives and that's how i am doing it at the moment i'll do the unassigned glitch by claiming this player pick i'll do the unassigned glitch by claiming this kit that's how I'm doing it. I have a bunch of things I can claim. So I'm ready for this weekend to full send fodder. Uh, where are we at? Fodder update. Need a good SBC tomorrow. Our two investment opportunities was gambling for tomorrow. Hope we get a good SBC. 83, 84, or team of the weeks, or just all in this weekend. Tuesday, 
like I said, is always the good gamble day. I'm hope it would be great. Perfect case scenario tomorrow is the 84 plus road to the knockout, the 86 plus upgrade come out and they're repeatable twice and they refresh again on Wednesday. That's what we would want and our fodder would do very good. And that's basically that for fodder. We went over the market. We went over fodder. That's our investment. I don't want to keep rambling on. I'm just going to keep saying the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, kind of unfortunate. I mean, it's unfortunate right now. We'll see what tomorrow looks like, but it's unfortunate right now because I, I even called it out. I said, I've called out fodder the past two weeks and they did so good, like double our coins each time. I didn't have time to do those investments. Now I finally had time to sit down and do an investment that I called out. I did 84s, watch them not do good. And I, it, so far it's not looking good, but I'm hoping fingers crossed tomorrow. People, hopefully tomorrow does good. Uh, I should mention if it doesn't do good, you guys can just hold as well. If you don't want to take the time, this is, I should have mentioned this earlier because there's people that probably clicked off the video by now. If you don't want to take the time to sell all your cards and then buy them back again this weekend, yeah, they might drop more. They probably will drop more if they don't get required tomorrow. But you could just ignore it. Just say, ah, whatever. I'm not, I'm not even gonna look at it and just wait for Black Friday. Because Black Friday, all fodder does good. It just it ever it just fodder does really good, Black Friday. A lot of SBCs, a lot of gamble SBCs. You could just hold for that, just hold it through and you'll make coins. So you don't need to sell. Like I know there's people with probably 2,083s right now. I don't think you necessarily need to go and sell 2,083s and then buy them back. Maybe just keep lazy listing them. And then this weekend, if they do come down more, just buy more, add to the 2,000. But I think me personally, I'm going to work on moving away from the 84s and I'll go all into 83s and hopefully double my coins. If I can go all into 83s, they go back over 2K, double my coins, turn 4 mil into like 8 mil. Great. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, let's just go over expected content now. So expected content, EA, they tweet out their own content now. So can I go here? EA Sports, there we go. And they tweet the expected content. So this week in Ultimate Team, we got the Road to the Naka, we got the Baka. We're getting End of Era, I think it's Rapino. Uh, yeah, Oscar just subbed to my Twitch channel. Guys, remember, if you sub to my Twitch channel, you get access to my VIP trading Discord. You have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free. And join the VIP trading discord for free every single month. It's free 99, cost you nothing to join. All right, squad foundations are coming. We're getting a moment's SBC, more objectives. Bundesliga player of the month. Guess what? There's no Ligue 1 player of the month. So Mbappe is not this week, maybe next week, but we don't even know if it's going to be Mbappe. It could be Zare Emery. But uh, yes, those of you buying high rated fodder, not looking good with no Mbappe. But Icon player SBC, and I think it's going to be Cantona because if you went onto Footbin and look at the popular trending page, Cantona, he was here, he's not anymore, but he was number one trending on Footbin before content drop or like when this came out. So maybe it's going to be Cantona, that'd be kind of cool, not a terrible card. And that is expected content. We're hoping tomorrow on Tuesday, that's our day. Uh, what else? I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. My trading Discord, my Twitch live stream description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.